Assalamu alaikum students how are you all I hope that you are doing great welcome back to channel math the one to science academy today our lecture is related to chapter 5 which is linear equations and simple inequalities i am going to explain you question number 8 which is intermediate level and the question number 8 is solve each of the following equations different equations are given and you have to solve them so part a is minus 3 2 minus x is equal to 6x. Okay, so here you can see that this 3 is multiplied with this bracket. So multiply this 3 with this bracket. Okay, so whenever you do the multiplication, first multiply the signs. We do here is plus sign. There's no sign. It means that it's having plus sign. So minus plus is minus. 2 threes are 6. Now multiply 3 with x. Minus minus is plus. And you'll multiply 3 with x. We'll get 3x. First, we'll multiply three with two, and then you'll multiply three with that, but with signs as well. So remember that plus plus when you multiply plus with plus, you will get plus, and you will multiply minus with minus, you will get plus, and when you multiply plus with minus, you will get minus, and when you will multiply minus with plus, you will get minus. You just need to remember these things. So minus minus is plus three x or three x is equal to six x. Okay, so we have to find out the value of the variables. So it means that uh, here in this question the variable is x. So I have to find out the value of x. So I can do two things. I can move six x over here. I can move this constant to that side. Okay, because to find out the value of the variable, it must be on the one side. All the variables must be on uh, all that terms of that variables must be on one side. So what I'm going to do in this question is I'm moving this x to that side. I'm just keeping this constant over here. And this three x is adding over here. It will go to that side for a second. The const, the variable term which is already over here is six x. I'm moving three x to the right hand side. It's adding over here to the left hand side. It will go to the right hand side. It will subtract. So minus six is equal to six minus three is three x. Now here, students, we have to find out the value of x. So this three is multiplying with x. When we come to this side, it will divide. So when you will divide six with three, you will get two. Okay, the three twos are six. You can write, uh, you can write down this equation as like this because it's equal to mean these both terms are equal to each other. So I can change their position because the single variable is left. So minus two is your answer. Okay, ji, I hope that it's clear to you. Now let's move forward to part B. Okay, so this part B is five minus three x is equal to minus six x plus two. Okay, so now here this is six, and with this bracket it's multiplying, so I have to multiply six first with x and then with two. But I have to multiply the signs as well. I will write on five minus three x as it is. Now I'll multiply this six with x. First, I have to multiply the signs with this x. There's plus sign, so minus plus is minus six x or six x. Now I'll multiply this six with two. So first, I'll multiply the signs. Minus plus is minus two six or twelve. As you can see, that I have to find out the value of x. So I'll move this x term over here to the left hand side. I'll move this constant to the right hand side. So I write down the variable term which is already over here, which is minus three x. I'll move this x term to this side. It's subtracting in the right hand side. It will move to the left hand side. It will add. Now the constant over here is minus. And just remember that whenever you are writing down the constant and whenever you're moving anything, just you have to move with the signs. Okay. So uh, here this is minus twelve. So I write on minus twelve as it is. Now I'm moving uh, this five to that side. This five is adding over here. When it will, when it will go to the right hand side, it will subtract like this. Okay, G. Now plus minus is minus. You will do the operation of subtraction. You will subtract three from six. You will get three x. So to add that, you have to write down the sign of the bigger number. So with bigger number, it's plus sign. So there is no need to put the plus sign with the single number. Now minus minus is plus. So which operation you will do? You will do do the operation of addition. Twelve plus five is seventeen. So to add that, you have to write down the sign of the bigger number. So the sign of the bigger number is minus. Okay, so here you can see that this is three is multiplying with x. If we go to that side, it will divide. So this three is multiplying with x. If we go to that side, it will divide with seventeen. 
Okay, ji. When you will divide 17 with 3, you will get the answer in the form of the whole number. So, you will get answer as, as it's minus sign. So, your answer would be minus 5 whole 2 by 3. Minus 5 whole 2 by 3. 3 fives are 15. 2 will be the remainder like this. 3 fives are 15. And remainder is 2. So, you have to move like this now. So, 5 whole 2 over 3. So, this is your answer. And with minus sign as it's here, it's minus sign. So, your answer is minus 5 over 2 by 3. Okay, just as I hope that part B is clear to you. Now, let's move forward to C part. Okay, C part is minus 3, 9y plus 2 is equal to 2 minus 4 by minus 7. Okay, so in this question, you, this 3 is multiplied with this bracket, so you have to multiply this 3 with the bracket. 3 nines are 27, so you write on minus plus. Okay, so whenever you do the multiplication, first you have to multiply the signs. So minus plus is minus 3 nines are 27. Why? Now multiply, you have multiplied 3 with 9. Why now multiply 3 with the 2? Minus plus is minus 3 twos are 6. This is how you have to do it. Okay, so now let's come to the right hand side. First you have to multiply 2 with 4. Why? And then you have to multiply 2 with 7. Okay, so whenever you do the multiplication, first you have to multiply the signs. So with 2 is plus sign, so plus minus is minus, 2 4s are 8 and the variable is y. Okay, so whenever you do the multiplications, first multiply the signs, then numbers and then variables. You have to remember this sequence to do the multiplication. First you have to multiply the signs, then numbers and then variables. So you will get minus 8 by. Now you will multiply 2 with 7. First multiply the signs. Plus minus is minus. Now multiply the numbers. 2 sevens are 14. There is no variable. So leave it. Okay. So in this question we have to find out the value of the variable which is y. So I will keep the y terms on one side. And I will keep the constants on the other side. So here the variable which is already over here is minus 27y. So I will write down minus 27y as it is. Okay. So this 8y is subtracting on the right hand side. When it will come to the left hand side, it will add. I have to use the rule of the equation. That if something is subtracting on one side, when it will go to the other side, it will add. So this 8y is subtracting over here and it will come to this side, it will add. Okay. Now I will keep the constants on one side. The constant which is already over here is minus 14. So I will write on minus 14 as it is. Now this 6 is subtracting over here and when it will go to the right hand side, it will add. So I will write on plus 6 like this. I have moved this 6 to the right hand side. So its sign will be changed. Okay. Now I have to solve it. Minus plus is minus. So it means that. So just remember this. Minus plus is minus. Plus minus is minus. Plus plus is plus. And minus minus is plus. So minus plus is when you multiply minus and plus. You will get minus. It means that which operation you will do over here. You will do subtraction. When you will subtract 8 from 27. You will get 19. 19y. You have to write down the sign of the bigger number. So the sign of the bigger number is minus. So you write on minus over here. Is equal to now minus plus is minus. It means that you will again do the operation of subtraction. When you will subtract 6 from 14, you will get 8. You have to write down the sign of the bigger number. So at the end, the bigger number sign is minus. So you write on minus over here. Okay, so now this 19 is multiplying with y. When we go to that side, it will divide. So, minus 8 over minus 19. Okay, so this minus sign and minus and we'll cut each other. So, the value of y will be equal to 8 over 19. Okay, so I hope that it's clear to you. And let's move forward to D part.
Okay, so this d part is minus 3, 4 by minus 5 is equal to minus 7. minus 5 minus 2 by okay students in this question what you need to do is you have to multiply 3 with this bracket and 7 with this bracket but remember the rule that first you have to multiply the signs then number and then variables so here with this 4 is plus sign so first multiply the signs minus first you have to multiply 3 with 4 by and 3 with then 3 with 5 with signs Okay, the first multiply 3 with 4, minus plus is minus, 3 fourths are 12, and then now you multiply the variable, which is y. Now multiply 3 with 5, first multiply the signs, minus minus is plus, 5 threes are 50, like this. Now come to this side, first you have to multiply the signs, minus minus is plus, and now multiply the numbers, 5 sevens are 35, there is no variable. Okay, this was my, at the start, there is no need to write plus sign, okay. Now multiply 7 with 2y, minus minus is plus, 2 7s are 14 and the variable is y. Okay, so as we have to find out the value of the variable, so I will keep the variables on one side and I will keep the constants on the other side. Now this 14, I will, this 12y is already over here, so I will, I will write down this 12 as it is, minus 12y. Now this 14y is adding on the right hand side, it will come to the left hand side, we will subtract. Now I'll keep the um, constants on one side. The constant which is already over here is 35, right on 35. So here this 15, I'll move this 15 to that side, to the right hand side because I'm keeping the constant to the right hand side. Now this 15 is adding over here and when I move it to the right hand side, it will subtract. Minus minus is plus, which means that you will do the operation of addition. So when you will add 12 and 14, you will get 26, 4 plus 2 is 6 and 1, 1 is 2. You have to write down the sign of the bigger number, so with bigger number it's minus sign, so you write on minus sign over here. So minus 26y. Plus minus is minus, with 35 is plus sign now, so plus minus is minus, so it means that you will do the subtraction. Okay, when you will subtract 15 from 35, you will get 20. You have to write down the sign of the bigger number, so with bigger number it's plus sign, so you need to write down the plus sign with a single number. Okay, so this 26 is multiplying with y, and it will go to that side, it will divide, minus 26 will divide with 20. Okay, now 20 and 26, you can reduce its form. Okay, you can uh, divide it with 2, 2 tens are 20, and 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6, minus 13. So y is equal to 10 over 13. So when you will divide plus and minus, you will get minus. So minus 10 over 13 is your answer. Alright, I hope that uh, part is also clear to you. Alright, now let's move forward to the last part of question number 8, part E. Okay, so part E is 3, 5 minus H. Three five minus h minus two h minus two is equal to minus one. Okay, now on one side there are two brackets, so I have to multiply three with this bracket and two with this bracket. Okay, let's multiply three fives are fifteen, and when we multiply three with h with signs, we'll get plus minus is minus three h are three h. Now multiply these two with h, minus 2h is minus 2h, first multiply the signs minus plus is minus and when you multiply 2 with h you will get 2h. Okay, so just remember that whenever there is a minus sign outside the bracket, signs inside the bracket will be changed. Now and we can also do the other thing, but you have to multiply the signs, minus minus is plus, 2 2 is 4. Okay, so as we have to find out the value of the variable, so I will keep the variables on one side and move these constant to the other side. This 15 and 4 both are adding over here and if we go to the right hand side they will subtract. Write down, down the variable stands over here and now move the constant to that side. The constant which is already on the right hand side is minus 1. 
Now this move 50 and 4 to that side, to the right hand side. 15 is adding over here and it will go to the other side, it will subtract. And 4 is adding over here and it will go to this side, it will subtract. Okay, now I'll solve it. Minus minus is plus, so it means that I'll add 3 and 2, I will get 5H. I have to write down the sign of the bigger number. So with bigger numbers, minus sign, so I'll write down minus sign over here. Now I'll solve this. Minus minus is plus. Minus minus is plus, so 5 plus 1 is 16. I have to write down the sign of the bigger number, which is minus. Now I'll write down this 4 minus 4 as it is. Minus 5 has, I'll write down as it is. Now minus minus is plus. So when I will add 4 and 16, I will get 20. I have to write down the sign of the bigger number, which is minus. Now this minus 5 is multiplying with that. When, when it will come to this side, it will divide. So minus and minus will cut each other. So the value of h is 20. 5 fours are, uh, so the value of h is 4 because 5 ones are 5, 5 fours are 20. Okay, so, so I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. Uh, do the practice of this sum because when you'll do the practice, then this concept will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much, and Allah Hafiz.